This video will take a look at multiplying by 10, 100, 1000, and 10,000, and 100,000, and so on. So we'll just do these examples. So we'll just start with, you know, 3 times 10. Write down the answer to that. Okay. Definitely, definitely 30, right? What happened though? What happened is we started with 3.0. Because 3 is 3.0, isn't it? And when you multiply by 10, the uh, decimal point goes one place to the right. See that? And you get 30, right? So how about um, 0 0.03 multiplied by 10, what happens? 3 cents. If you have, uh, if you, if a piece of candy costs 3 cents and you buy 10 of those, what, what are you going to spend? 10 pieces of candy for 3 cents each. You're going to spend 30 cents. 0 0.30. You agree with that, right? If we want, we can write this out. 0 0.03. 10. Multiply it. Okay? Uh, 0 times 3 is 0. 0, 0 everywhere. Put down a 0 for a placeholder. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. Add everything. 0, 3, 0, 0. Count the decimal places in the problem, 1, 2, 1, 2, put the decimal place here, so that's 0 0.3, isn't it? Or 0 0.30, same thing, right? 0 0.3. So you can do that if you like, but uh, I just want you to see the pattern that if you multiply by 10, if we take 0 0.03, and multiply by 10, we just need to move that decimal pl point one place to the right. Okay, and, and so it goes right here, and that, that's where you get 0 0.3. Okay, so what I'm saying is if you go 1.47 times 10, you just have to move decimal point over there. And let's think about this um, a pen costs a dollar and 47 cents. If I buy 10 pens, what, do you got, what, what am I going to spend? Well, surely fourteen dollars and seventy cent, right? That makes sense, doesn't it? So move the decimal point one space to the right, and there it goes, and and that's that. Of course, you could write it all out if you like, and multiply it the long way. One point four seven ten. There's nothing stopping you, and you should come up with the same answer. Okay. So write down the answer to this one. Zero point zero zero two four times ten. You multiply by 10, just move the decimal point one place to the right. So it becomes a bigger number, but, but and one a decimal place bigger, basically. Does that make sense? So decimal point is here now, and of course, stick a zero in front. Is that okay? Multiplying by 100, 4 times 100 gives what? 4 uh, $100 bills would be how many dollars? Four hundred dollars, right? So um, this time we started with four point zero because four is just four point zero, let's say, and we skipped the decimal point two spaces to the right. So if you times it by a hundred, the decimal place goes two places to the right. See that? And then you end up with four hundred, right? What about zero point zero four times a hundred? If a piece of candy costs four cent. How much would a hundred of those cost? Hundred of those pieces of candy. Well, you'd be it'd be four dollars, wouldn't it? Okay. So we started with zero point zero four, and we can skip the decimal point one, two spaces to the right, and of course that's four point zero, let's say, or, or four. Okay, because decimal point is, is here now, isn't it? Four point something, right? Four. Okay, how about two dollars fifty times a hundred? Okay, if um, a if something costs two dollars fifty and you were going to get a hundred of those, what would you spend? A loaf of bread is two dollars fifty. How many? How much is a uh, hundred loaves of bread? Well, 10 of them would be $25, right? 100 of them would be 250, wouldn't it? 250. 
So once again, we start with the the 250, okay? We're times it by 100, so we move the decimal point one, two spaces to the right, okay? Uh, how about this guy? Can you write down the answer? 0 0.0089 times 100. If you times it by 100, it's going to get bigger. How much bigger? Move the decimal point one, two spaces to the right, and you get 0 0.89, or basically 0 0.89. So that's a uh, this number is 100 times bigger than this number, basically, right? I guess another way of looking at it is, look, it's okay, 0 0.89. Oh, oh, if you want to look at it that way, and then compare that to what we started with, you see? Basically, we started with 89, we times it by 89 uh, ten thousandths, we times it by 100, we get uh, 8,900 ten thousandths. Of course, you don't have to write these zeros in, so it's just 0 0.89, right? Anyway. Okay, how about thousands? Five times a thousand? Five thousand dollars? obviously have to be wouldn't it so what I did was I started with the number five <coughs> or five point something I times it by a thousand I skipped the decimal place one two three places to the right and of course I get five as a decimal place here so I need to stick in zero so that's five thousand right so if you multiply it by a thousand you're skipping the decimal point three places to the right so what are you going to do with this? You're starting with 0 0.005, you're timesing it by a, a thousand, what are you going to get? Times by a thousand, skip the decimal place three places to the right, and that's five point whatever, or you know, just the number five. Okay? So what about this? 12.87 times a thousand? You're going to skip the decimal place where? One, two, three spaces to the right, stick in a zero, and we get um, 12870, and the decimal point is there. So 12,870. 12870, right? How about this? Times by 10,000. Okay, when it was times in by a thousand, we skip the decimal place one, two, three jumps. And look, there's one, two, three units, three uh, zeros here. If you're times it by 10,000, there's one, two, three, four zeros. So you're actually going to skip the decimal point uh, four spaces. So I start with 1.45. Let's skip the decimal point one, two, three, four spaces to the right. Stick in zero, zero. And that's one four five zero zero. The decimal point is there. So fourteen thousand five hundred. One four five hundred. Okay. And so on and so forth. Can you get this one? You start with nine seven eight one four. Your times end up by a hundred thousand. There's one two three four five zeros. How many places are you going to skip the decimal point over? One, two. Take a wild guess. Five, right? Three, four, five. I'll stick in a couple of zeros. Nine, seven, eight, one, four, zero, zero. I'll put a comma here and a comma here. Can you read what that number is? So this is uh, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. What comes after hundred thousands? Millions. Yep. Nine million seven hundred eighty-one thousand. 400, right?